Hey everybody, Galusia here, picking up right where we left off on day two of Dismantle. And I gotta kind of like remember it a little bit. So we've pretty much been everywhere, and there's a bunch of locked shit. So I think, I don't think I've been in this building. But I think I'm ready to just move on to the next area. At least until I hit level 5. There's that quest in here that we had to be level 5 to pick up. But This dude's corpse just stays there for the rest of the game or what? Oh god, alright. Oh. Apparently that whole first day and everything that we just did was just like a uh, intro. Because now we're getting like opening credits and shit. Okay, well, that was fun. Little cutscene thing that we had there. Um, holy shit, like we traveled really far during that cutscene, right? Like this is the gate where we came through. Look at all this bullshit we walked by. Now when I was walking by, I saw this, which wasn't locked and it's locked in here. I'm thinking maybe that's like a teleportation thing, but we won't know until we get the other one unlocked. Man, they, like, really forced us to walk by a lot of shit. That was weird. Ooh. We got our first iron. That's good. Iron is a rare material, obviously, because that's the first one that we've gotten. And I've seen that pretty much, like, all of the more advanced recipes are going to require it. I like motherfucker. <gasps> My health is hella low. Nope. 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 Fuck off. My health was hella low to start that fight, and I didn't have any throwing knives left, so. We're gonna learn something and get fresh. Ooh. 5% melee damage. Okay. A cooking stand. Oh, so you can cook at campfires. Well, that's cool. Okay, so I would like that, but we don't have enough material for it. We literally have... We don't have enough material for, like, literally anything. But we almost have enough for this. So I'm actually going to track for that because I, I want this. Used to dig up hidden things underground. I don't know how you, like, discover the hidden things, but, like, it's an opportunity to have a new tool, so I want to do that. Okay. So now I have a shovel. So how do you, like, search for hidden... Do you just dig anywhere? Oh, you can literally just dig anywhere. I don't know if that's what I'm actually supposed to do, but... <laughs> like, is there supposed to be an indicator? You know, like, something on the ground that says, like, oh, there might be something hidden here. Or is it literally just, like, you dig anywhere until you just magically find something? You know what I mean? Because I've never seen anything on the ground where I thought to myself, oh, I should probably dig there. But I'm obviously not finding anything by, like, randomly digging. I think, unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to rest just to get knives. I don't know, dude. That, like, skin-looking dude is scaring the shit out of me. Or, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's just a lack of skin-looking dude. I don't know. We'll see. Because if I sleep, obviously, it's going to reset everything. So it's like, I kind of want to do it before I loot everything in here. Just because, like, all these, like, regular dudes that I kill are going to come back. But then at the same time, it's like... If I can clear this place without doing that. This is why I don't want to sleep. Because there's a lot of loot in here. So I'm having to go back and forth a lot. 
And if I sleep, like, it just means I gotta kill more bullshit that's in the way. Like, I kind of feel like just running back and forth with loot for a little bit. And then, you know, like, sleeping if I have to. Okay, well, I don't have a recipe to do anything with those. But I do for this. Booyah. Oh. So the first time I cooked that... It increased my hit points. But now this time, all it did is give me back health. So I'm thinking each recipe will increase your hit points once. And then after that, it's just going to... It's just going to rejuvenate your health or whatever. So definitely feel like I should have saved <laughs> those tomatoes in case I find a recipe that requires tomatoes and onions. So noted for the future. I actually might have enough iron to upgrade my crowbar before I fight that guy. So if I sleep now, like, it will give me my knives, which might be useful. But it'll also upgrade my crowbar, so. Oh, so. <laughs> Day two is, I guess, technically 7 a.m. because it just now started. Obviously, for our purposes, we've been calling it day two since midnight, but noted. Okay, so we're not going to open that door. I don't want to I don't want to deal with that guy yet. So we're going to Ooh, looks like a like a like a, um, like a blueprint bench or a crafting bench or something. Ooh, I hope we learn something. I didn't even think, I like, the whole reason I was upgrading was because that guy scared me, but then I was like, wait a minute, like, I can hit more things now? What can I hit? Oh, boy. Fuck yeah. No, before we fight him, I'm gonna go through all the rooms that I've already been in and, like, break a bunch of new shit. Ooh. Like, a, like some sort of advanced fabric, too. Holy crap, dude. We are just unlocking all sorts of new materials. Okay, we're going to go dump this and then come back. Dude, we are just getting so much new shit. Are you guys as excited as I am? This is awesome. Obviously, breaking new stuff is helpful. But it's also nice just to break old stuff faster. It's almost nicer. Like, just to be able to, like, tear through stuff, you know? Okay, I really want to make a flashlight, but everything's going to respawn again again. So I'm trying to finish certain areas before I do all that. Oh. Okay. So we're actually... So apparently he's so dangerous that the game just said, don't fuck with him. Oh, there's an explosive barrel, though. Doesn't it kind of feel like I could just blow him up? <laughs> God, look at all the loot in here, too, man. And I gotta just, like... Not loot? I don't know how I feel about that. Man, how tempting to just be like, Nah, I'm gonna fight that guy anyway. Like, there's that fucking bench thing over there, man. Like, oh, I guess I could go to the bench because it's behind that jeep. He probably won't see me. Send a request for supply base and new catalyst first thing Monday morning. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I think so. I can unblock this door that was blocked before. And then I'm going to go try to access that without spooking the scary guy. Yeah, apparently I'm not even supposed to try to fight him. I'm really tempted to, but I haven't died in this game yet. I don't know what happens when you die. I assume you just drop your loot, hopefully, and respawn. But, like, what if you lose some kind of progression, too? Like, you, like your tool gets downgraded or some shit. Who knows? You know what I mean? I don't think they would do that to me, but... I don't know that they wouldn't. We're gonna try this again. Shh. Don't do anything stupid, guys. 
Oh my god. Fuck yes, you can craft without... Oh, dude. Crafting without having to go to the camp to reset everything? This is my new favorite room in the building. Or in the game. So good. Sick. Oh, fast travel? <gasps> oh my god. First of all, we leveled up again again, so that's cool. Yeah, there's a campsite over here. I was like, dude, there's gotta be a campsite nearby. Like, this is like a lot farther along or whatever. Ooh, an arcade. Can I play the arcade? Oh, it's not an arcade. Damn it. <sighs> Nobody cares about security gates. I wanna play the arcade. Well, it looks like I was wrong about those ruin things, because these can fast travel. So then why would the ruins also fast travel? Oh, yeah, the map. I wanted to look at the map. Okay, so, yeah, see, like, it <laughs> it opened up this huge area, but most of it's ocean. Because <laughs> when I first looked at it, I was like, holy shit, this area is huge, but it's actually not. It's just, you know, whatever. Okay, so we're almost technically in the active, uh, uh, evacuation center site, whatever, where... You know, we were technically trying to get to, like, that's, like, our main objective or whatever. Um, but this area is a lot bigger than it seems. Like, because I can go back here, it looks like. This is, like, the path that I took to get here. But there's all this area out here. Oh, when I move my mouse cursor over it, it, like, unfogs it. What? It's temporary, but that's weird. I never noticed that before. But yeah, so see, like, there's a house, there's a thing there, there's some buildings there. I kind of want to explore all that before I worry about going to the evacuation site to quote unquote escape the island, because obviously we're assuming that's not going to work out. Could be wrong, but probably not. Ooh, rubber. Nice. Ooh, that's my first uh, rare material, like a blue one. It's kind of funny how, like, in games like this, like, I go from, like, not having any iron so I can't upgrade certain things to, like, now I'm just, like, finding it freaking everywhere. You know what I mean? They, like, ease you into a concept, and then it's just like, here's all of it. It's like, holy shit. Okay, game, calm down. So you can't invent stuff on the crafting tables, but you can, like, you know, craft more basic stuff. And that's still a huge win. Like, just being able to, like, upgrade your equipment without having to sleep in the fireplace is pretty sick. Dude, no way. First of all, meet, and then hide. And there's a... There's something that I need. To, oh, my backpack. I need three hide to level up my backpack. So that's a big deal. So this is kind of like a wilderness out here, right? So we might get like, Jesus, there's a bunch of houses and shit down here too. Um, so that's cool. Maybe we can find more deer out here and upgrade the backpack. That would be sick. Farming should be looked into as growing crops can help you get more ingredients for food. Well, guess what? I already got the seed bags. Now we need to plant a seed and harvest a crop. Nice. Oh, there's like a map thing here. We're going to be able to fast travel here just to farm. That is sick. I am down. Ooh. Nice. Okay, we need nine corn, so obviously we're going to be planting corn. Oh, slash finding a ton. What the fuck? Low key, like, I'm almost fucking dead, though, so we need to... <laughs> Spices. Fuck, we are, like, finding all kinds of new stuff. Yeah, I've had seed the seed bag for a while now. I never found any seeds. 
So, God, look at all the ingredients we have now, though. And we have literally just two recipes. Like, what the... F Maybe we find them in the wild. Because we kind of ran through the wild <laughs> to get here. The game might be, like, assuming that, like, we walked through the wild and found some seeds by the time we got here, you know? Ooh. We can make all sorts of stuff. Um... Fishing rod. God, I wouldn't mind fishing. I feel like a machete is important, though. <laughs> a weapon with a broad blade usable both in combat and gardening. 20% melee damage against monsters. 10% critical hit chance. 70% power attack. Oh, okay. <laughs> Best used near water. Thank you, game. Uh, we can make the monster lore too, but like honestly, like I almost don't even see the value in it right now, and it's like I don't want to like waste materials on it when I need them for other stuff. I'm sure there's a point, but whatever that point is, I don't care. So, moving on. Upgrading gear. So we made a machete, which we can immediately upgrade, and we probably should because its effective damage is lower than the crowbar. So I don't know how effective it's going to be in combat compared to the crowbar. Because I feel like it would be better. The crowbar should be for smashing shit, and the machete should be used for fighting stuff. That seems like a better thing, so. But let's upgrade this first. This is what we wanted. A bigger backpack's a big deal. God, we can almost do the throwing knives, too. That would be sick. So, yeah, let's do this. Oh, we can do it twice. It stops us from being able to upgrade the throwing knives for a while longer because we're losing ceramics, but it increases the damage to 21, and the damage on our crowbar is 20, so this should hopefully, theoretically, be better against the guys. Ooh, snap. Look at us getting all this XP. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to, okay, 21. What? No, I, what the fuck? How do, how do I, actually, here's a good point. So, I can only switch between the crowbar, the shovel, and the fishing rod. And the crowbar was only doing a base damage of 20, but I just hit that guy and it did 21 damage. Right? So, I'm wondering, like, when you attack something, does it just automatically hit him with the quote-unquote machete? You know what I mean? Because it's doing 21 damage, not 20. So, that's more than it was before. And you can't actually, like, equip the machete, you know? Like, actually hold it in your hands. Okay, so uh, day two is almost over. Oh, well, you can see where the wall failed. Oh my god. No, I literally just hit that guy with a fucking fishing pole, dude. Well, okay, so two things. First of all, obviously you loot, you do drop your shit. Second of all, it's brighter now than when I died. Can we just point that out? You know what I mean? Like, it's actually, like, brighter out. Because, like, when I died, it was, like, kind of dark, remember? And I was like, it's kind of weird how this game is, like, still dark out, blah, 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 blah. And, like, now it's not. Also, everything is alive again, so... Annoying. But I'm going back to where I died because I want to see if you can pick your shit up or if it's like for sure, for sure gone. The only thing that I actually lost was like one mushroom and then like a fish, like a few fish. Because I just emptied out my inventory. Oh, there's my bones. 
Nice. Okay, so you can go back and get your stuff. There's really not that much of a penalty to dying. So, yeah, so day two is almost over, which is sad. I don't know where the day went, honestly. Like, it went by way faster. But I really want to, at the very least, go to that tomb ruin place. But because I know that there's not really, like, a harsh penalty for dying now, I really want to try to fight that thing. That the game was like, oh, you better hide from him. He's spooky. And I'm like, fuck that. Let me just kill him instead. But this could be a terrible idea, so... Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna see what happens. I mean, obviously he's... So my god. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> obviously, technically, I could eventually kill him, but... Oh my god, why is it spawning me all the way out here? Oh, because I didn't sleep at... Or I didn't click on the other camp okay that actually makes sense so we're gonna go this way oh god everything's gonna be respawned in here though okay there's a campsite up there so we'll go there oh my god i can re i can break all this shit now guys i'm just <laughs> honestly i was really excited to come back to the starting area just to break all the new things i can bring yeah, there's so much stuff that I'm going to be able to break in here. That's probably how I'm going to wrap up today's episode, honestly. Just by breaking all the things. It's actually ridiculous how much stuff we're getting. So, we're coming to a close on day two. Um, I'm going to see what this quest is because it always said that I couldn't do it until I was level 5. Kill 5 ex-humans. Finish in 60 seconds. Okay, hold on. We're going to sleep so that everything in the area respawns. Or not sleep, but you know what I mean. We're going to go to the campsite. Okay, we have 60 seconds. So, yes. Oh, God. They spawn. Okay, well, that, that's actually really easy. Ow. Well, that's why I wouldn't let us do it until it was level 5, because it was a, like, difficulty-based challenge, where it was going to, obviously, get us killed if we did that at a lower level. I think that's a great way to wrap up on day 2, although I guess technically, again, like, this day, the game doesn't consider it day 3 until 7 a.m., but for the purposes of our videos, we're gonna say it starts now, because... That's the time. So thanks, everybody, for watching today. I appreciate it. If you're new, subscribe if you could, please, and hit that bell icon. Throw a like on the video and comment below. Uh, where would you like to see me go next? What would you like me to focus on in this game? Seems like I have a, quite a bit to do. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. Also, <laughs> if anyone knows how to fuck to do with these seeds comment that below please i'd love to know okay so thanks everybody i will see you in the next one